Thank you. Uh, we move to agenda item five of the 14th meeting in 2018 of the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee. The committee has been considering a complaint about a member of the Scottish Parliament and I will now read out a statement that sets out the committee's findings. On behalf of the committee, I would like to make the following statement in relation to a complaint about an MSP. The committee has considered a report from the Commissioner for Ethical Standards in Public Life on a complaint from James Dornan, MSP, about Mark Macdonald, MSP. The complaint was initially made to this committee in March this year and we agreed to refer it to the Commissioner for Ethical Standards in Public Life for investigation, given his role in independently establishing the facts of such complaints. In our direction to the Commissioner, we ask that he take into account any information which may relate to the complaint. The complaint from James Dornan related to the conduct of Mark Macdonald towards a member of James Dornan's staff. In examining information relating to the complaint, the Commissioner was made aware of Mark Macdonald's conduct towards another staff member and decided that this was relevant to the complaint under consideration. The committee is unanimous in the decisions reached on the complaint. Firstly, it agrees with both the findings in fact and the conclusion of the Commissioner that Mark Macdonald failed to treat one witness with respect and that his conduct towards her involved sexual harassment and that he also failed to treat a second witness with respect in relation to a financial matter. The committee agrees with the Commissioner's findings that both behaviours were in breach of the Code of Conduct for MSPs. Secondly, the committee considers that the breaches justify the imposition of sanctions on Mark Macdonald. The final decision on whether to issue sanctions lies with the Parliament. The committee looked at the full range of sanctions available to the Parliament and agreed that these sanctions should send a clear signal about the seriousness of Mark Macdonald's conduct, but should not have a financial impact on his staff, nor unduly impact on his ability to represent his constituents. I propose that the committee will recommend in its report that the Parliament excludes Mark Macdonald from procedures of the Parliament for a period of one month, which will not overlap with the period of recess, withdraws his salary for a period of one month to coincide with his exclusion from proceedings of the Parliament, withdrawal of a right of access as a member to the Holyrood Parliamentary Complex for the period of one month to coincide with his exclusion from the proceedings of the Parliament, and withdraws his rights to any representational, ceremonial and related privileges until dissolution. I now invite the committee to agree to this proposal. Thank you. Well, the committee's role in this complaints process is specifically focused on considering the Commissioner's findings in fact and conclusion. I would also like to comment more generally on the nature of the complaint. The zero tolerance statement agreed by the presiding officer, the chief executive and the party leaders last week provides clear definitions of sexist behaviour and sexual harassment and makes it clear that these behaviours do not belong in the parliament. The committee fully endorses this statement. In our recent report on sexual harassment and inappropriate behaviour, we identified a number of potential areas in which the code of conduct could be strengthened and we will pursue this in the revisions in the coming parliamentary year. I would also like to comment on the confidentiality requirements in the complaints process, which are a requirement of the Code of Conduct for MSPs. We previously expressed our disappointment that details of the complaint were shared by the media, by, to the media by James Dornan. It is an explicit provision in the Code of Conduct that members must not disclose, communicate or discuss any complaint or intention to make a complaint to or with members of the press or other media prior to the lodging of the complaint or during stage one and two of the procedure for dealing with complaints. In addition, before we had seen the Commissioner's report, it appears its findings had been shared with the media, further undermining the confidentiality of the process. As I said in my initial statement on this matter in March, proper processes must be observed in order to ensure a robust outcome. The Commissioner and this committee must be able to carry out its work without any external interference. We consider it unacceptable that the confidentiality requirements have been flouted more than once during the course of this complaint. 
This is disrespectful to the process and those involved, as well as the committee and the parliament. Today's decision relates solely to the complaint regarding Mark Macdonald, but the committee will return to the issue of confidentiality. Further details of the complaint and the Commissioner's investigation of it will be included in the Committee's report, which will be published later this afternoon. Until that time, the report remains confidential, and neither I or any other member of the Committee will make further comment until it is published. Thank you. And we now move back into private session. <laughs>